Hi children, welcome to Nanny Storytime. We're going to read about Nikki, the brave little tailor. The tailor is the one that sews. So he's got his scissors. He's acting like it's a sword. Okay, once there was a town in terrible trouble. A huge giant lived nearby. Every time the giant sat down on a house, he crushed it. Everyone was afraid the giant would crush the whole town. Oh my goodness, that would be terrible. So, everyone, that is, but Mickey the tailor, he had a different kind of trouble. Some flies had gotten into his house. They were buzzing all around his head. At last, Mickey grabbed his fly swatter. He slammed it down on the table. He picked it up and counted seven dead flies. Wow, he said, seven with one blow. I must tell someone about this. <laughs> that would be a lot of flies to kill with one swat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> That'd be a bunch of flies. <laughs> Terrible. Two farmers were talking near Mickey's shop. We must get rid of the giant, said one. But who can do it, asked the other. And just then, Mickey opened the window and cried, I killed seven with one blow. Well, the farmers thought Mickey was talking about giants, not flies. They ran and told everyone that Taylor killed seven giants with one blow. Oh my gosh, that was a mixed up story, huh? <laughs> There's a lot of difference in a fly and a giant. One farmer even told the king's baker. The baker ran off to tell the king's knight. Did you hear, said the baker, the tailor killed seven giants with one blow. The little tailor is braver than he looks, said the knight. The king must hear about this, and off he ran to tell the king. Oh my goodness, and there he's going to tell the king. They all think Mickey was talking about giants, but he was talking about flies. As soon as the king heard the news, he sent for the little tailor. Mickey smiled at the king and the beautiful princess Minnie. Gee, thought Mickey, maybe the king wants me to make him a new coat. Little tailor said the king, tell me how you kill seven with one blow. You know, they're still thinking he's talking about giants. <laughs> I mean, they think Mickey's talking about giants. Well, said Mickey, it was really nothing. First they came at me from the right. And then they came at me from the left, and suddenly they were all around me. So I just let them have it. They never knew what hit them. They never knew what hit them. He was leaning on his scissors, just bragging so happy that he killed seven, seven with one blow. Okay, bravo, cried the king. You shall be my giant killer. Giant killer, said Mickey. I can never be your giant killer. I'll give you gold, said the king. No thanks, said Mickey. Gold will not make me change my mind. And just then, Princess Minnie whispered something in the king's ear. Of course, said the king. I wonder what she's telling him. I'm gonna find out. Little Taylor, said the king, if you will be my giant killer, you may marry the princess. Mickey looked at Minnie. Golly gee willikers, he said. So the little Taylor became the king's giant killer and off he went to find the giant. She's acting all shy and bashful and batting her eyelashes at him. But he thought she was awfully pretty. As soon as Mickey was alone, he sat down to think. I'm just a tailor, he thought. What do I know about killing giants? Mickey was thinking so hard he did not see the dark shadow on the ground. Oh, you see that shadow? It's kind of dark. He don't even, he's just thinking too hard. He's not paying attention. Well, when he did look up, he saw a huge foot. It was the giant about to step on him, but Mickey was fast. He ran to the first thing he saw, a wagon full of pumpkins, and he jumped inside and hid. Oh, good. Yay. Well, this smashed him. Mickey heard a loud crunch. He peeked out. The giant was sitting on a house. The house was crushed to the ground, but the giant just looked at the pumpkins and said, Ah, oh, some orange berries. They look like berries to him. Pumpkins are pretty big. Oh, goodness. So the giant reached down and grabbed a bunch of pumpkins. Without knowing it, he grabbed Mickey too. Well, the giant opened his mouth and he popped in the pumpkins, but Mickey was fast and he grabbed the first thing he saw, the giant's mustache. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. Mickey was hanging by a hair. The giant felt something tickled under his nose. Tickled him under his nose. Darn fly, said the giant. And he caught Mickey between his fingers. Now's the time to be brave, said Mickey. He took out his scissors. On guard, he cried. Oh, he's tiny compared to that giant, though. He did. My goodness. So he poked the giant right in the nose. That's good. Uh -oh. Let's see what he does next. 
Ow, said the giant, and he slammed his hands together, but Mickey was fast. He jumped down, jumped into the first thing he saw, the giant's sleeve. <laughs> oh, look at there, he jumped in the sleeve. Now the giant felt something tickle his arm, so he reached into his sleeve to get it, but again, Mickey was too fast for the giant. He cut his way out of the sleeve with his scissors. So here he is, he just cut himself out. That's good, Mickey's thinking pretty fast. Then Mickey took out his needle and thread, and he began to sew very fast. First, he sewed around the giant's fingers, and then he sewed the giant's sleeves together. And next, he wrapped the thread around the giant's nose, but he didn't stop there. Look at there. His finger, then he sewed the two arms together, and now he goes around his nose. Oh, goodness. Looks like he's going to get that giant, doesn't it? And around and around went Mickey, and around and around went the thread. Look at there. He's wrapping it around and around him all over. Goodness. At last, the giant was all sewn up. He could not move. He could not even stand up. The giant fell down with a great crash. Whoa, can you imagine? If he sat on a house, he squished it, so that was a, probably sound like an earthquake. It felt like an earthquake. Everyone in the town heard the crash. They ran to see what it was. There was Mickey standing on the giant's foot. Three cheers for the brave little tailor, they cried. Is that amazing? Yes. They carried Mickey back to the castle. Minnie was waiting at the gate. Soon, the brave little tailor and the beautiful Princess Minnie were happily married. And to think it all began with seven dead flies. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a story. Okay, see y'all tomorrow. Have fun, bye-bye.